One of the projects that impressed us most comes from Ireland because there are so many young people engaged in this cooperative. Farmers producing hemp, improving their soil health and widening their product range. They grouped together, formed this cooperative, included architects and processors of this very interesting culture and are now producing more and more hemp for various purposes. I first came across hemp when I was in Finland as part of a European project about traditional food. As a biochemist, I just fell in love with the plant when I realised how much it would do. And what also interested me as an environmentalist is the fact that it is such a good plant for saving the planet. I grew two acres and one of my journalist friends said he'd like to do an article about it. When the newspaper article appeared, we had a lot of hemp tourists. And then Jim Miller arrived with Martin Costello and said, would I be interested in getting together a group of people to grow hemp? It all started from there. We were amateurs at growing hemp and we were also amateurs at setting up cooperatives. But we have learned and we are getting there. I suppose I was one of the only farmers that had uh, experience in growing the hemp. I started looking at hemp back in 2015. Uh, we have a lot of underutilised land in our area. Uh, once upon a time, dairy farming and beef farming was very productive. The beef just aren't making any money anymore, so we had to look at the alternatives. Recently, hemp has come onto the radar, and we've looked around, um, when I'm saying we, part of the community in this rural part of Ireland where we have serious issues with depopulation and children moving to the urban areas. To me, hemp is a great solution for farmers. What we're doing is promoting hemp as a rotational crop. They get a value-added crop, which will more than compensate for the loss of animals. It benefits the environment to such a huge extent, way more than trees. I put hemp into the ground in order to reduce the CO2 impact that I was having. Uh, hemp will take in approximately 10 tonnes to 15 tonnes of CO2 per acre, depending on the variety that you put in. That's a huge reduction in CO2 per acre. So it's going to uh, be a benefit to not only us, but my kids. We live across the water from here in a place called Luped and um, very similar uh, conditions to Kate Carmody. She's growing hemp and it's growing really, really well for her. So once we knew it could grow well in the west coast of Ireland, we continued researching it and it looks like a, a great crop to grow and lots and lots of uses. You know, here is a plant that can help you live a better quality of life because it can be your medicine. It can feed your animals. It can clothe you. It can house you. What more do you want? I believe the future for hemp in Ireland is enormous. It provides opportunities for farmers, for workers, for processors. Let your imagination run wild and it's not from smoking it either. Hemp is a solution for all of Europe if we change the legislation in Europe. A lot of countries are very negative about hemp because they associate it with marijuana. So there's a big education project to be done. So when we started researching Going Hemp about two years ago, we contacted the Head Cooperative immediately. And it was a great support because uh, it was an opportunity to teach each other what we were doing and learn from each other. But also as the group has got larger and larger, it gives us an opportunity to speak to our government and about regulatory requirements. And so it gives us a kind of a I suppose power in numbers. We're all talking, we're all communicating with each other, which means then that we know which method works best, which method didn't work. It's all a collective, that the more, the more people that are in it, the more information we're going to gather. It's not economically viable to do this on your own, so the co-op offers that in licensing and in marketing, 
and in advice and agronomy. We have a good knowledge base that we have a bit of experience now between the different members and it's, uh, it's all going to be very beneficial going forward. Knowledge has been the big issue for the moment and learning. In the next two years, funding and the processing is going to become the bigger issue because we will know better what we want to do in terms of processing and then obviously the marketing of the product has to be done in tandem with that. In the hemp cooperative, two thirds of the members are farmers, but we have builders, we have chemists, doctors, architects, social activists, people who want solutions to the problems in society. I first got involved with hemp as uh, I'm a carpenter by trade and a customer asked me to build them a hempcrete extension to their house. So I done some research, I discovered a wonderful building material. This is just a simple mixture, a shiv, mixed with lime and water and it's packed into these wooden uh, frames and it's just like you would with a concrete wall but you just pack it down so it becomes a solid block like this. So this material will create a good quality insulation. It's a win-win you know for the insulation and for the health of the people living in these buildings and for the health of the building itself as well. This is a block we show people how to make. You can imagine an industry here in Ireland producing hempcrete blocks for people. When I discovered hemp I discovered something to be passionate about. You know, finally I found something that walks the talk. The Hemp Cooperative was actually registered in May 2018, and um, seven of us registered it. You know, it all started taking off, so we've gathered a lot of members. Most of our members are young farmers. They want to farm. They don't want to be driven away to the cities. The younger people are looking to do something different and they see this as a very exciting crop that offers lots of opportunities. Growing hemp, you do it organically, uh, so it's regenerative farming, and young people are interested in, in farming for nature. I think we need to reinvent the paradigm of rural Ireland and just make it an exciting, vibrant place again. And to me, hemp will do that. Industrial hemp is a significant game changer in terms of not depopulating rural Ireland. I would call it a, a flagship project for the whole European Union.